Jesus was saying, I'm sorry. I'm going to my father's house. To the disciples, it was not easy. You must know that by the time when Jesus was around, disciples were proud. I just remember one day when one man was crying, screaming, and then he wanted Jesus to heal him. What they did, they just said, ah, no, this man is making noise. They, they were so proud that they didn't even want noise. It's only when Jesus said, okay, bring the man. Say, up, he's calling you. So, automatically it means to be close to Jesus was to be cheered up. If you read here, Jesus was say, okay, I'm going. But thank God there is Holy Spirit. This Holy Spirit will bring remembrance and teach you things. Therefore, you won't be in the dark. This is the Holy Spirit that was given even to us today so that we have peace. The moment when we see something, we won't fight back. Peace is giving us. It won't be like of the world. Why? Because there's still going to be tribulation. But inside there will be peace. Can you see when you have peace but you are facing challenge but there's peace in you. I'm seeing what I'm seeing but I've got peace. I'm seeing trouble but I've got peace inside me. It's better you have peace inside you than outside you. Peace that Jesus was talking was of inside you. That's why Jesus said, it's not the way the world gives. I'm going away. Don't worry. You saw miracles. I was doing, you were proud. But now I'm going away. But you will know things. Just Become. If you see any other situation. In John 1632. Not far from there. John 16. John 16. 32. Verse 32. Behold. The hour cometh. Yea. Is come. Amen. That ye shall be scattered. Every man to his own to his own, and shall leave me alone. Yet, I'm not alone, because the Father is with me. These things have I spoken unto you, that in me ye may have peace. Amen. That in me ye may have peace. In the world ye have tribulation, but Amen. be of good cheer. Be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. Jesus was saying, you are going to face temptation because of what will happen to you. You are going to run away, everybody. But you won't lose what God gave you. Just cheer up because what I'm going to face is not a defeat. It's a victory. After that, there was resurrection. Jesus here was saying, yes, you will run away because you'll be afraid. But not that I'm telling you because of the peace that is in you. Though you run away, it have to be that way. But know that what I'm facing is not there to destroy my life. 
So you will have peace when you sleep. The moment you see that, oh, what I was facing, though you ran away, was not to destroy me. Automatically, you will have peace. You know, this is the peace that God wants us to have. People will also run away from us. When they run away, is that won't tell them they must not run away. But the moment they realize what is happening to us or happening to you, it's not distraction forever. It's a new level. They will have peace also. Also, we're supposed to be having peace knowing that what we are facing is not to make us to fail forever. To stop forever. What we are facing is a level. It's a new level. Tell me about what you are facing. It's a new level. The moment you have peace, anything can happen around you. The reason why you have peace is because you know what will happen. Remember, the Holy Spirit will teach you everything and also bring remembrance when you forget that you are supposed to face this, but you are supposed to overcome. Worry won't be mentioned. That's what the Bible says. Cast all your cares upon him. Because he cares for you. When the Bible says that, he says, have peace. Relax. Don't deal with your problems. Allow the one who deals with problems to deal with them. If, if you believe, shout hallelujah. Tell the say, my friends, what are you facing? There are times whereby we become anxious for everything. This is a warning to us. When you've got peace in you, whatever happens around you won't affect that peace. It won't affect you. Because you know there's something in you. I don't, I don't know if you're hearing me. Ask your neighbor, say my friend. Do you know what is in you? There is peace from the Father God in you. Don't allow any situation to affect that peace. If you believe, shout hallelujah. If we read Hebrews 12, from 14 to 50, he said, follow peace with all men and the sanctification without which no man shall see the Lord. Amen. Looking carefully lest there be any man that falleth short of the grace mm. of God, lest any root of bitterness springing up trouble for you and thereby the many may be defiled. Can Amen. you see that? God wants us to follow peace. Without peace, we won't see God. Tell me about Without peace, you won't see God. If we read Psalm 34, verse 14, the Bible says, depart from evil and do good and seek peace and pursue it. In other words, sometimes it won't be easy for you, but just depart from evil. Seek peace, pursue it. Which means there are some places where you could see that you will end up sinning and do what is wrong. But pursue it. Fight for it. Make sure that there is peace. I don't know if you're hearing that. You know that where there is peace, there is victory. And where there is victory, there is joy. Sometimes you can't say you have joy when you don't have peace. Because peace is one of the fruit of the Holy Spirit. I, I pray that you have peace where you are waking. Peace. Where, where you are waking, where, whatever you are doing, I speak peace in your situation. If, if you believe, shout hallelujah. The moment I found peace, I found that there are things that, you know, can excite you. 
Because you know the end. You know the end. You, you just know that you, you, you find that you, Satan is trying to trap you here. But you begin to love because you know the end. It's like when the Bible says Jesus, Jesus suffered the shame because of the joy that was set before. Sometimes you can go through trouble, through sickness, through shame, but there is joy there. So you will enjoy because of the age. There is someone who is listening to me who is facing challenges. I'm here to tell you, just look at the end. Just look at the end. Look at the end. At the end of when your problem, you will rejoice when you are facing that trouble. Look at the end of your shame, you will rejoice when you are going through shame. I see some people here, you are facing tough times. This is the time of rise up and become excited of what God is about to do. Don't be excited about what you are facing. But excited because of the results that are coming to you. If you believe, shout hallelujah. Depart from evil. Seek peace. Do good and seek peace and pursue it. That scripture is so powerful. Depart from evil. Because most of the time, we love to revenge or fighting for ourselves. Depart from evil. Seek peace. Pursue it. Be a Christian where in your heart there is nobody. But it's only Jesus who's reigning in you. And if you do that, God of peace will be with you. I see God of peace with you. I see God of peace lifting you. In this week of lifting, I see you being lifted. You need to have peace. Peace. I speak peace in your business. Peace in what you are facing. Peace in your sickness. I speak peace in your position. I say peace. Receive that peace. And I believe you are overcoming it. If you believe, shout hallelujah. Matthew 5 verse 9 says, Matthew 5, 9, yariona, If you pursue it, you, you seek peace, kucho, you will have a character of God. You'll be called a child of God. A son of God. It's only when we have peace that when people look at us, they see the one in us. They see the one Inside I want people this year if they are speaking better about you later they will find there is God in you. If they are trying to stop you they realize you are unstoppable unblockable. I don't know if you are hearing that. Ask, ask somebody say, my friend, what is it that is troubling your peace? Whatever that is troubling you is there so that you overcome it. I don't know if you're hearing me. What you are facing is there so that you show it that you are more than the conqueror. I see you as a Christian with excitement inside knowing that God is about to do a new thing. I see God doing new things in your life. Victory is your portion. Success is part of you. If you believe, shout hallelujah. You cannot be called a son of God without this character. I mean, for you to have that character, is when you have peace, you seek it, and you don't fight anybody. Like, like you heard me say, I never preach about anybody. Because I want peace. 
I will, not that I can't do what other people can do. But I think there's, there's somewhere I'm saved from. When, when you know where you are saved from, you understand where God can take you. I don't know if you're hearing me. So you cannot dwell in the past because you know your future. If your future is bright, why do you talk about the past? Ask your neighbor, if your future is bright, why are you dwelling in your past? I, I see some Christians here. God wants to change their language. What they think about their environment. You know what you can do? Even you can do it. Allow the peace in you to reign. The peace to reign in you. That peace will guide you will guide you in the things of the Father. We will guide you in the will of the Father. And you will never be lost. The peace of God guides. I see someone here being guided out of shame to the victory that has been set for him. If you believe, shout hallelujah. Listen, this year, nobody will stop you. And nobody must disturb peace in you. Maintain it. Enjoy it. And be you. Don't be like anybody. Be you. Knowing what God God is about to do with you. Rejoice to be yourself. If you can do that, you can reach where God wants you to reach. If you believe, shout hallelujah. I see you becoming what God wants you to be. Tell somebody, I'm not shaken. I know where God is taking me. I'm not afraid. I know where God is taking me. I know where I come from. So I know where God is taking me. I cannot allow any to delay or to steal my peace, I will carry on serving my God, having my peace, knowing the end of where God is taking me. I see God taking you somewhere. I see God raising you. Raising you. You are the one. You are the one. I say you are the one. That's why you are facing troubles. That's why you are facing tribulation. That's why they are facing you. Hey, crush them aside. Cut them around you. Carry on with the peace that God gave you. Enjoy yourself. Believe in your God. That peace will open doors for you. If you believe, shout hallelujah. The moment when I found this, sometimes I laugh alone. You know, I can tell you, I can tell you this. I'm not a person who just see wrong things and I talk about it. I'm telling you now. If, if you hear me talking about wrong things, there's a reason. Even when people talk about me, I can't even answer them sometimes. If I, I'm answering, I'm trying to teach someone. Because there's something in me that there's no money can buy. I don't know if you're hearing me. I say, there is something in you. No money in the world can buy. Don't lose it. They, you can lose money. You can lose friends. You can lose neighbors. You can lose people. They can reject you. But don't lose what money. God has set in you. Hey, there is something in you that God has planted. Devil is fighting it. He wants you to lose it. When you see shame, it's because of what God put in your heart. When you see what people are saying about you, don't be shaken. Don't worry, there is something in you that not allow anybody to steal you can face accusation. You can face whatever. But I see God at the end. You are the winner. I say you are the winner. I say you are the winner. You, you will live your life with, with excitement. 
because you know what you have. Just I know what 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 I know I know Listen, Lalel. the moment you have got peace, whatever happens is not searching for your materials or your position. It's searching for that peace. That's why some of you, you are disturbed. You are no longer active the way you were. Because somebody disturbed your peace. The moment your peace is disturbed, you cannot be flexible in the hand of the spirit. I don't know if you are hearing me. What the devil wants to do is to steal peace so that you become, you don't become creative in the creative hand of the living God. But if you allow God to work in you before he works outside, he works in you and add more necessary tools that you need that even when you are blessed, you will never lose the blessing because there is one in you who is greater than the one that took the world. So you won't be afraid because there is something in you I feel something in me when I'm speaking with you. That is why you see me talking That's the way I'm talking. If there is something in you and devil does something around you, you can ignore around because of what is in you. I don't know if you are hearing me. Why? Because you don't want to lose peace. You don't want to lose what? Peace. And the peace of God is what you need in life. I don't know if you are hearing me. I feel peace of God in my heart. I feel peace of God. What God has done for me, He can do for you. He can raise you. He has raised me. He can raise you. He has blessed me. He can bless you. He has lifted me. He can lift you. Can but listen to this. The reason why your faith has been affected on what you say is because Satan planted a seed around you. And now that seed is so strong. So when you speak out of peace in you to create what you need around you, it becomes impossible. So what God wants to do with you, he, he wants you to create something in you. In you, I told him Harry. I just say, Where did you get money? It's not money, it's peace. I don't know if you are hearing me. Tell them, say, hey, my friend. It's not money, it's peace. 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 Peace.
And you shall hold your Jehovah want to fight for you. And you shall do what? The Egyptians you are seeing. You will never see them. Again. Hold your peace. Jehovah will fight for you. I don't know if you are hearing that. Just hold your peace. When I All right, look here. Sometimes when you want to overcome in your battle, because Satan will never leave you. Will follow you until to the grave. The, Satan wants to find out what kind of coffin buried you. Whatever you are doing, Satan will follow you. Follow you. Even the day you die, will fight you. so that they will bury you with a, I mean, with a cheap uh, coffin. coffin. Satan will fight you until today. But when you have God, God will never allow that. When they pursue you, just hold your peace. Very soon, you will never see them again. I don't know if you are hearing me. Very soon, you will never see them again. Not long I realized this as a person. Where you are working, they are following you. Whatever you are doing, someone, someone who doesn't want to is there is watching. Like myself, I'm preaching here. Don't ever think it ends here. It ends in my enemy somewhere there. But God will never allow your enemy to follow you forever. How can you overcome them? Have peace. That's what? When they think you are finished, you'll be starting. When the thing is over with you, it will be the beginning of it. I prophesy the beginning. I say beginning. I say the beginning. The beginning of progress. Of riches. Of success. Is starting with you today. If you believe, shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Are you ready to remove things that are stealing your peace? Can you stand up? You, you ask peace from the Holy Spirit. Peace from the Holy Spirit. Can you say, Father, in the name of Jesus? Father, in the name of Jesus. Today, today, I need peace from the Holy Spirit. I need peace from your Holy Spirit. Lift up your hands, begin to pray. 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 Thank you, Jesus. I can't hear you. I can't let you. Mama. I can't hear you. In Jesus' name. 